okay. I would like to discuss oral um, cancer. Sure. And it just, I, I guess it'll be a really quick discussion because okay. there's probably a lot to this. Right. Who is at risk for oral cancer? Well, when I went to dental school, it was the people who smoke and drink. That would make sense. However, that's not the case anymore. Okay. Oral cancer can happen to anybody. And that's the really, I'm getting chills in my body yeah. already. Because it, oral cancer um, can be very devastating. Um, however, when you go to a dental office, uh, the dentists are trained to check for oral cancer, and it's the first thing we do. We check all the lymph glands just to make sure there's no swelling. It's American um, Cancer Society uh, routine. And then we look inside, and we look down the throat. We look at the sides of the tongue, at the floor of the mouth, and all the tissues that are, uh, is anything a, could suspicious. Could it be apparent right off the bat? Could you see something you right could, away? You could, or could yeah, not? absolutely. Okay. And then we have a technology called a Valscope. And um, it's, it is available, and, and some offices use it. And what it is, it's a blue light. So it shines into those, all throughout those tissues, and we can see at a deeper level where the, um, where the uh, dysplasia or the uh, disruptions are happening in the cells. If you, if you so feel that there's something. It, or, and we can catch things at an earlier stage. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, people don't have to go through the 35 radiations and the two or three chemos, and it's a tough, tough disease, and nobody ought to be inflicted upon it. But we, we can find it soon. We can treat, you know, dot biopsy, get it looked after, and it can be looked after. Mm -hmm. But oral cancer is on the rise. Uh, we don't know why, but it is. It, it's almost as common as cervical cancer for women. So I say if you have pap smears once a year, get oral cancer screened by your dentist or your hygienist. It's very, very important. And um, even young children, now human papilloma virus is yeah. now HPV is happening in the mouth as well, which is another form of cancer. Is there a way to prevent it? it wait, no way to prevent it. Just have good hygiene and visit your dentist and make sure because it, it's happened to um, a very close person in my life mm -hmm. and there's no way in a million years that you would ever think that it would ever happen. And it was a small lesion that was watched for seven years for who knows why, but Everyone thought it really wasn't the big deal, and it turned out to be a big deal. So yeah. just be, play safe. Um, just make sure that your dentist checks, and if you see anything suspicious, have it looked after and uh, follow through. Mm 